Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with uh, Lesson, I believe, 11 in our basic series. Today we're going to talk about um, this workbook, active workbook, active sheet workbooks, all these things that, uh, different terms of how you can tell Excel which workbook to switch to. Let's say you had multiple ones open, or if you created a new one, that would, of course, be a secondary workbook that's open. You want to be able to intuitively switch between them well you don't want to have to do it you want to teach Excel to do it with VBA um, to do all these you know hundreds or thousands or, or just a few lines of code perhaps switching back and forth and doing something for example I have one thing where I generate a report for one um, for say one month or one type and then uh, I export that, I, I uh, copy that over to a fresh clean worksheet or workbook and then I will have it run the second criteria. Let's say, you know, if we had Dallas, a Dallas report, it would run that and then put it in a, a tab and name that tab Dallas on the new workbook and then it would switch back over to this workbook, the original, the original workbook, run, run the new report and then it would take that sheet and copy it again to the same uh, the other workbook. So we're gonna we're gonna do an in-depth study on that. So let's get started. This might be a two-part video. I don't know how long this will take, but this is good stuff. Okay. So I've already begun here. What we're gonna do in a second is we're going to open up a new workbook and start switching back and forth with our macro. So let's get started. Um, first things first, what is this workbook? We've used it before. When we say this workbook dot sheets, and then we say the name of a sheet or something like this. This workbook is an object in Excel that that tells Excel that uh, the the workbook that you started with or the one that actually has the codes in it is the one that you might want to switch to or you might want to do something with even if Excel is currently focused on one of several workbooks if you said this workbook dot activate then it would immediately switch over to the original workbook and do some stuff in there so we're going to go ahead and do an experiment with that. Um, let's say, um, well, well, we'll add a new workbook. Here's how you do that. Let's see here. I believe it's workbooks.add. Well, if I could spell it, it'd be fantastic. Workbooks.add, simple as that. You want to add a new workbook? Bam. Let's try this. Let's F8 through. Remember, F8 is debugging. Uh, one line at a time. F8. F8. Okay, now we're in the, the procedure called workbook stuff. And the first line is about to run. F8. Workbooks.add. So you can see up here, book one has just been added. Okay, so now you can see that clearly we're on the workbook called book one. But what if I hit F8? What it'll tell Excel to do is to go to the original workbook that originated all the codes here and activate that. Set the focus on that. Let's hit F8 and see what happens. Sure enough, we've got our originating uh, workbook. So let's clear that out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out the new workbook. Let's do that again. Only this time, I'm going to hit F8, F8, adds a new workbook. You notice this one's called Book two uh, for some reason Excel just keeps adding even if you've closed out book one it's going to call this one book two and so on and so forth until you I think close out all instances of Excel maybe at any rate here's what we're going to do to this time we're going to say we're going to set a variable just to capture the name of the workbook so we can switch back to it in a second this is pretty cool Okay, we'll say, what are we going to call it? We'll just say workbook name, WB name. That's not anything native to Excel. That's just a random name I just made up for a variable. WB name equals active workbook dot name. So we want to get the active workbook dot name. 
And if we hover over it, we see that it's book two. But let's backtrack a little bit. See, there are variable is not set. It should be empty right now. But if I hit F8, WB name equals book two. So we can save that for later. Check this out. I'm going to hit F8. We're going to switch back to our originating workbook. This workbook that activate. But down here, we'll go back. We can go back to the new workbook. How do you do that? With the workbooks object. I know it's a lot to take in. Check this video out, rewind it, watch it a few times. You need to memorize this. This is awesome. So workbook, oops, workbooks. And instead of saying book two in quotation marks, or set, instead of saying that um, workbook, workbooks book two dot activate, you can take all this in quotes out and use our variable WB name up here because if you click away and then you click back you see that book 2 is already in quotes it's already a text so we're going to open up workbooks WB name which means workbooks book 2 activate we want to activate the other worksheet or workbook so if I hit F8 it switched back to work, uh, book 2 and we could go on all, all day this workbook dot activate and so we can switch back and forth between book two and the originating workbook. Let's see what else we have here. Active workbook dot name we used active sheet. Active sheet is kind of the same thing. If you did active sheet dot name, in this case it would say in it would be in quotes, it would say workbook studies end quote. So you can use that with sheets. Also, you, like if we did that, that would be whatever sheet is active at that stage in the macro. So if I had a different one selected, it would take the name of that if we did active sheet dot name. So um, that is how we would use these. We'll do more in the next video. Thanks for watching.